Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? 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 So I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. <laughs> so my life is over. Oh, got all this work for nothing, man. Uh, uh, being tough in a man's world. I guess I wasn't so tough, huh? Jorge turned state? Everyone's a rat! Not me. Whatever! Open up, man! Who is it? It's the streets, man. Okay, hold on! All right, man. Oh. This is what Manny's oh. all about, man. Manny, 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 Manny! Now, word out, bitch! You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo! We don't want it anymore! Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling! Is this, Manny, for fuck's the sake! The streets have spoken! Now leave my people alone! Are you Nico? What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I am not in the mood for this right now! Well, he said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor and broker who can help. Come on. Let's put him in my car. Causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No. Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're gonna help a lot of folks. <laughs> He'd been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. has that stuff. Good. One less thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. We got a big workload this quarter. Did you hear about that from the vlog?
Come in, Nico. Aye. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go!
I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon.
Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hanging out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this, empty office leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? Or what did you give Michelle? For me. Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later.
What are these things since the war?
take it from here. Why would I need it? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. Sometimes I just can't help myself. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister. Lovely lass, scared to bits of life. And fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east. 
but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash room. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things differently. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Stick to me, man. really wasn't made with us criminals in mind. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Stupid America! 
Soldiers are trying to rob us!
Tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Did you take driving lessons off of Katie? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know what's funny? But I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen, I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty is sin. He is sin. <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vaux site and call me. Five G's. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. 
Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. Surrounded them with 360 degrees. 
much anymore. You did a good thing, Nico. That boy was mean. He had a tongue on him, too. Always talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. Got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend.
And prostitutes. That's my perfect evening. Ha! Huh. If you ever want to fight, if you to want man, to walk out of know. here, Slav, you're going to have to think about how you will pay your debt. A friend of mine, Dmitry Raskolov, he would pay a lot of money for your cousin. I'll get you the money, just not that way. If I don't have grass, all I do is drink all day. Of course, of course. I'm the poster child for a two-pack-a-day habit. You are right indeed. this motherfucker right now!
is dead. I am not afraid of death. When she comes for me, I shall embrace her. I hope that Roman has the same inner peace. Let him go. I don't want to die, Nico. <laughs> Thank you, cousin. You saved my life. We should get out of here. Are you okay? I'm used to taking these beatings, Nico. I almost expect it now. Wherever I go, there are people who want to kill me. Men who will kidnap me. I'll never marry Mallory. I won't be able to sleep with another college girl. There is a knife hanging over me. A clock is ticking. Get away!
Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a threesome on my 100th birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge and getting your own way. And all you care about is money and gambling it away on the internet. Oh, isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get to do that with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians. Men, we just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Glory in the dark. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine, but leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a break! Okay, okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back oh. there. And Nico. What? Thanks.
Mercury, I probably don't remember giving you my number or who you are. Ladies, uh, I'm sorry it was a one-night stand. Here's my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob.
some crucial flying skills in the Nico. Can you drop an eye up on the elephant dog? But I'm feeling so good, you know. Trust me, this thing I'm messing with the structure. Yo, job well done, you know, Nico. But we have to get out there, this bomb up like dead right now, you know. I do not think he can ask us to do more than this. Now it's our turn to get him to help us. If someone can find the man I search for, it should be him. Let's do it. We shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head up my ass? I'd be impressed if you had been. I appreciate your assistance, Pelic. You did a good thing today. Now it's my turn. I will try to find the man you're after. I will call when I have something. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! 
I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. It means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. How much? You know my price. No. Five. You're cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Excuse you, man. Hey, man, what's your deal? I 
thing, my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger. No, I can't get a clean shot. He's sitting down or something. Look around the place. See if there's something you can use to get his lazy ass up. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'll be a hundred percent.
Dimitri. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up, though, before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me.